Arjun Chakravarti from you over here. Ninety-one percent in board examinations, and then ninety-eight percent type for JEE mains, and finally six hundred and thirty out of seven twenty in NEET exam. So Arjun, how do you take this achievement as? I am really very excited, and I wish to uh, pursue my future endeavors in, of course, the medical stream because I was from the beginning on here in this field. And yeah, I'm very excited and very happy about it. Why medical? Why not engineering? You got a good score of 98 percentile in your engineering examination also. Personally, I feel that the engineering is a bit oversaturated these days. So from class 10th to 9th only, I had uh, always thought that I would become a doctor because. Of course, there there is a level of respect in that profession, and also a feeling of self satisfaction. That's all. Are you in this success or achievement? Uh, tell us something about your preparation, the whole of the school, your teachers, your self study, your self discipline. First of all, we need to listen to our teachers, our of our school, as well as if any other coaching if we are taking. All those things we need to respect our teachers and listen to what they are uh, saying to us, what advice is they are giving. And by the role of the school, of course, the school has played a major role, especially the school timings. The school used to get over by 10:30, 10:40, and I used to get the whole day for preparation. I could take a little bit of rest when I got uh, reached home, and after that I could uh, prepare for the uh, rest of the day. Secondly, uh, selecting the resources is very important. Very limited resources and the uh, maximum number of practice, maximum number of times of practice is very important to crack such competitive exams. Different exams have different patterns of question practice, and accordingly we need to solve that. For uh, especially in NEET, we all know that the CBSC NCERT material is more than enough, and for CBSC boards also it is the same. So we need to divide equal time between the NEET preparation and the board's preparation. Only then can we manage. Because if we score a uh, bad percentage in boards, the confidence for a NEET examination decreases, which might affect our the competitive results and vice versa. So we need to take attention of both the exams and then continue our journey. Something about your self study and time management. Uh, I used to study uh, for around seven to eight hours per day for self study, and of course the coaching and all those things are uh, irrespective of. So in the self study, I used to uh, grasp the theory, and maximum time I used to devote to question. What are your final approaches? I mean, how are you going to plan out your future? The goals which you have set from now onwards. My goal is to. Uh, Pursue my MBBS from a government college, and then give either US Medi for the US Medical, uh, US Medical entrance, PAAB or the UK Medical entrance, and or uh, or the Australian Medical entrance, whichever I can. But I use, uh, I want to pursue my masters from another country. Finally, uh, what are your tips, your suggestions for your juniors, your future aspirants? We all know that consistency is the key. Limited resources, maximum number of question practice, following our teachers blindly, and uh, one more thing, which is my personal opinion: don't put your own brain over the teachers' uh, advices which they are giving. That might harm you. Anything for your teachers and your people who supported you at the yes, end? Obviously, first of all, I would thank. thank you. My parents, my teachers, and of course the Almighty. Uh, without whose support and guidance, I would never be able to crack these examinations. They have been beside me at all situations. Whenever I had a doubt, they used to solve it, and I would always be grateful to them for their uh, unfathomable support. Thank you. Thank you, Arjun. Thanks a lot. Thank you.